so Nikki and I are talking about free Facebook groups. Um, she's doing, she's building a community of, um, of women who want to, I think are sharing some, some things that, that they usually don't feel able to share. Um, so just from that idea, it does sound to me like, well, a free Facebook group can of course be public content or private content. You have the choice of whether people who are not in the group can see the posts or oh, you have to join the group to see the posts and you can have like member questions before they join all that stuff. So here's the problem with free Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. It's so much work to stay engaged, to keep engaged. Now I know what you're saying is you want to do like, before we started recording, you mentioned you want to do zoom gatherings, free mm -hmm. zoom gatherings. And you're like, well, instead of, instead of just having a one-off free zoom guide, maybe I should just put Facebook live you know, zoom to Facebook live. And that way it'll be broadcasted to the group members and maybe even the recording will be, will, will be there, you know, instantly, automatically without you having to upload it later. So that all sounds nice and streamlined in terms of having a free Facebook group. The problem is, I mean, my, my question, that the reason why I have not recommended free Facebook, like I said, it's so much work to keep engaged. Like you, you don't even, I mean, it sounds great. Like when you're first envisioning it, like, oh, it sounds, sounds amazing. But then three months, six months, three years later, you're like, oh my gosh, I, I have to, like the group is dead unless I actively try to, to, to make it alive again, even with you know, Zoom live calls, still a lot of people don't see it. And, it's, and the problem is you can't reliably get the members to see it unless when people join, you require the member questions. This is now something that you know, wasn't available in the past, but you can require member questions where you ask them for their email address to say, hey, to join this, you, you, you know, please add your email address here because we're going to add you to the announcements list for this, for this community as well. So, mm -hmm. um, because I know Facebook groups, you won't necessarily see the stuff. So I'm going to announce it via email and sometimes link to posts within the group. I don't know how much you want to say or can say, uh, I, actually you, you can say quite a bit in the description of the group when they, when they apply, they can see the description and the rules and all that stuff. Right. So, um, Long story short, I think yes for a free Facebook group if you have the email requirement so you can announce mm -hmm. it via email. Um, otherwise, it's 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 really just random. I mean, as the algorithm de de decides whether people see it. The alternative, I'll give you two alternatives. One mm -hmm. is to just do a Facebook business page or fan page or public page because then you can run ads to reliably reach your fans. You can't run ads to Facebook group members, but you can run ads to your fan page followers and engagers. Um, and it doesn't have to be much money. Even 30 bucks a month, you could reach 3,000 of your fans reliably. Um, and uh, so that's one alternative, mm -hmm. but the topic might not suit itself to that. Like I said, if they, they wanna feel more safe to comment and things. Mm -hmm. But secondly, why not just make it a paid thing? Okay, mm -hmm. so so it doesn't have to be a high cost. You could instead of having a free group, you mm -hmm. can have a whatever low cost means to mm -hmm. your to your people. It could be thirty bucks a month could be low cost to some people, or ten dollars a month could be low cost. I mean, certainly ten dollars a month is doable for the vast majority of the people. So, or thirty, you know, some people might even say seventy bucks a month is low cost. I don't know, but why not just mm -hmm. do that? Because then you and and then guess what? Now now you've got a low cost paid group, and then you could do the occasional Zoom, free Zoom, as a as a sample, as a as an experience for them to to see what it's like. And I would say that's probably what I would do. Not just probably that is what I do. Mm -hmm. I do occasional free, as you have heard me say, free to attend, paid recording Zoom webinars. So it's like, hey, if you want to attend this experience, this lecture experience, you know um training or whatever mm -hmm. webinar it's you can attend for free you can sign up if you if you show up live it's free mm -hmm. and in fact i even tell them listen if you fill out the feedback form afterwards you'll get the recording for free as well mm -hmm. right but if those of you who can't show up live or doesn't don't want to don't worry you can buy the recording the the lecture part of it or the presentation part of it. you can buy it later at a low cost you know um yeah. so i really like doing that and then it's like people who really enjoy that experience come to my low cost membership program. So Nikki, what do you think about 
these options? Um, yeah, well, so with regards to the like Facebook group that you have to pay, you know, a monthly fee for, how would you set that up? Would you like kind of do like a moon debt clerk or whatever that? Oh, like a recurring payment was. thing? Yeah, like how would you be like, oh, here's the link to like, you know, sign up and, it's, you know, X oh. amount of money a month. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll well, get access to this Facebook group or like, how would you? Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, I mean, I, okay. for, for, for years, I mean, still mm -hmm. now I, I still have, I still use Facebook groups for some paid membership. Now I'm starting to move over to move over to some for more and more mm -hmm. stuff, but it's still fine. And in Facebook groups, as you know, as you're, you're in several of mine are, work great for, for mm -hmm. a paid group. And you basically, yeah, the, the question might be, what is the, the checkout process, I guess, the technology for checking mm -hmm. out and pay PayPal. Most people have a PayPal account. Right. PayPal recurring payments is a sub PayPal subscription button is probably okay. the easiest way to get people to pay for that. And then after they pay for it, you can send them to a thank you page. Uh, PayPal allows that or Moon Clerk or, or Stripe, mm -hmm. et cetera, can, can, can do that. And then the thank you page will be, please request to join the Facebook. And of course, you'll have their email mm -hmm. when they when they buy. And you can have an automation where you uh, people who buy this product gets automatically emailed by your email list provider. Okay. Welcome. Please request to join this Facebook group, and then I'll approve you. You know, within within a within a day or something like that. And so you just have to pay attention. You know, at least checking once a day on your group mm -hmm. requests, um, or it should show up in your notifications that someone is asking to join. So okay. Yeah. Well, uh, and then just the uh, one last question about the free to attend paid webinar. See, the thing I why I haven't wanted to do that for this is because I I don't really see it as a webinar because I yeah, see more almost like group support. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. where people yeah. are going to be sharing and then well, that's see, how... so mm -hmm. which means you probably don't want to record that that stuff mm -hmm. because yeah, because it should be confidential. Yeah, generally, mm -hmm. but within the group, you know, if With, people within the group, are, within the group, yeah. Fine. yeah. So so this is where. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree. It wouldn't be a paid, paid recording type situation. It would just yeah. be, it would just be a free to attend. There's no recording. You got to make that right. clear. Hey, this right. is an experience. If you can't show up, no worries. I will be scheduling additional calls in the future. Here's the email list to join to get right. invited okay. to that. Yeah. And uh, just be aware, you know, as, as your group grows, as your um, mm -hmm. audience grows, you, you'll probably want to schedule something that's friendly for Europe time zone and Australia time zone. Essentially, mm -hmm. those are the two major time zones because those two both work for, you know, America's as well. America's okay. daytime, America's evening kind of thing. So over time, you just, you'll just figure out basically also based on your own convenience, what times are good to schedule that works for you and works for the audience as well. So, okay. yeah, cool. yeah thanks. Mm -hmm.